Hey guys, Alexei here from Ace Five Studios, and today I'm going to be having a look at this plugin called Terraform Body. It was just released, and honestly, I'm really liking it. Um, this is their website; they have lots of samples. Um, but let's just get straight into it and have a look at what it does. Now, um, the cool thing about it is that it's basically—I mean—you could probably achieve this with some pull-offs, but let's go go extensions, Terraform, and let's start out. So a basic thing is it makes it easy to build a terrain. And there's the their official tutorials are different to how I use it because I like to work very low res and then upscale. So basically you make a terrain and let's add a gradient, which is basically a mountain, but make sure it's underneath the terrain object. And you have a mountain and you can go in with loops. You can move this little dot here up and down. So and now you can place a mountain wherever you want. So that's convenient. And um, <laughs> once you have it, you can just go and type in go to store. Now you have something that looks more like a mountain and you have a bunch of settings here for rotation and scale and you know, it's a whole bunch of useful stuff. So uh, I just made a very simple thing earlier, so I'm gonna recreate it for you. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a spline. I'm gonna draw it out here, draw it out here, and draw it out here. So this is gonna be a river, so I'm gonna go spline deformer, oops. Plug in here. You can also create them from this menu here. And the spline, let's drag this guy in. And as you can see, it kind of makes ridges to go up. And you should make sure that this thing is set to uniform because it takes the points, and it increases the amount of points. And then instead of gain, let's give it a minus 50. There you go. So now we have this little river. And the cool thing about it is that this spline here has masking options. All well, apart from obviously having fall off curves, which sometimes seem to glitch out a bit. Um, yeah, so they, they have these nice little pull-up curves. I think maybe you need more points. Yeah, there you go. So you can control the way it falls off. You can also control the way the spline will affect the gain of it. So for example, you can have it along the edge of the spline. You can have it more shallow, but we're obviously going to keep it as it is. Also, you can change the radius of it. Lots of controls, so very convenient that way. Let's also reduce the overall radius of a bit. Actually, no, the radius is fine. What I want to change is the gain. It's a bit too much. So there you go. So we want to give it, get this little riverbed going on. And then we can add... Also, we can... The good thing about this, I'm like, you could probably do this with fall-offs and stuff and in the deformer, but here it's really easy to increase the size. And then you just increase the segments and you know, you're all good. And it's very fast as well. Now, so once we add this, we can hide our little spline here. So we have a little river. Let's, um, let's turn off our filter. Grid, 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 grid. Oh, grid. Nope. Filter work plane, there you go. Now, so once we have this, we can also go and add um, there's a bunch of cool stuff that I'm just a bit lost in which one to start off first. So uh, the first thing that is really neat is you can obviously just add a noise and it noises the whole thing. And that's great by itself, but you can also obviously change the whole, there's this really nice rig multi-fractal noise and you can change the scale or whatever you need. So you have this kind of nice, you can also, these things all add, you can choose a mode so you can add them or multiply them so it's, Gives you like a lot of different cool effects. But what's really great is also you have masking. So for example, I can apply this only to a certain slope. <laughs> so see, it'll apply it only when if there's a slope, there's no rigged multifractals. And I was second, soften it. There is some issues that happened with these <laughs> bottom things here. The splines do ditch do glitch a bit. But um let's turn off this for now. So what I want is the masking here. You can actually just mask it with the spline. So you go, and then in the spline, you choose, where is it? Radius, and I want this to be inverted. So remapping, invert, there you go. And object, where is it? Layer, radius, there you go. So I don't want it to be affected here. And obviously make it smooth by, um, No, that looks like a lengthwise thing. It's not what we want. Um, 
we want the remapping. We want this contour to be curved. There you go. I got a smooth fall off. And now we can increase this. There you go. So we don't have the hills. And if we turn it off, you'll see that. And that's how we get our river bend back. So that's useful. Now you can obviously copy these guys. So you can just control drag them and you have another hill. And each of these gradients have different fall offs. So radial, you can have a square hill or rectangular. Rectangular is great, I think, because you can just stretch it out and then you get the distort intensity. And angular change the height of everyone. So it's just like this stuff, which is, and you can obviously stack these as much as you want. But the cool thing that really comes to me is I love how you can do fall off. We have this hill, right? So I can control click and make it into a volcano. Just a bit too much. Let's make the case a bit smaller. So I got this volcano going on here, right? And look how fast that was. It's great. And then I can go masking and I can add a linear field. And now this linear field will actually affect the angle of the volcano. So I can just, you know, I can stretch it out. And it's just, see, it just adds this kind of, and you have this very unique terrain, very quickly built. And it, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy using this. And there's also this really cool thing, curves, which is also super useful if you add it. Um, where is it? Curves, curves, curves. Curves, where are you? There you go. So basically by default, it does this weird flattening thing, which in this tutorial works pretty well, but I prefer to use it. I switch this to just, where is it? Spline preset linear. There you go. Now I can set these guys to point type soft. But what I can really, what I really like about this is I can, for example, add little cascading kind of things. And while at first you might be like, well, that's kind of neat. You add this little kind of road path going on. What I really like doing with it is I actually like doing this kind of, if I bring it down far enough, scale it up. What I do with it is I add kind of a beach kind of area. So see, I can, if you scale it just right, you can add these kind of around the rivers. You can add these kind of beach banks. So see, we've got it here. So if we turn this off, it just goes down like this, but here we get these banks. And then we can combine this with the spherical, for example, fall off. And now this one, for example, we want there to be beaches like somewhere here. And obviously the fall off should get where is it? Curve. So yeah, now we get these beaches here. We turn it off. We get them everywhere, but see, but here we get back to the sharp edge, sharp cliff kind of things. So this is really neat as far as just, you know, being able to modify the terrain and build these really neat things very quickly. And you also have these nice convenience. So um, increase segments, increase segments. And also the performance is great. Like, well, maybe right now it does this caching inside. And once it does the cache, it's really fast. And there is a lot of geo here. So yeah, I'm really digging this tool. Just let's build these things really quickly and yeah, if there's some kind of way to generate vertex maps from this, that'd be great too. But also maybe I just haven't found it. There's still a bunch of stuff here that I haven't experimented with. But this is, you know, it's very, I don't know, I like it. Obviously it gets a bit slow now. So if I try to move this, it'll, yeah. So, oops, decrease the segments first. <laughs> I should not have pressed increase. There you go. Decrease these guys first. There you go. So, and obviously if you need to move this, hill, you can just go boop, oops, gradient, boop. And then your volcano is going to be on the other side of the terrain. And it's just like, it's such a, you get this, def this uneven deforming because when you move it, it moves through the distortion field. So that's kind of, maybe you should layer it up with some other stuff or use a, you can also remember you can use fall off here. So if we turn off this distort, we can use a, like we can make this with the mask. We can use any field. We can use random fields, whatever you want. And you can use X particles even to generate the stuff. So this is really handy because you can move this around to, you know, wherever you like. And it's just that ah, it, if you're building terrains, this is beautiful. I really dig it. So yeah, go check out the website. He has a one month free trial right now. Um, 
it's I also think there's a discount for the first two weeks, but really good stuff. Like, dude, very impressed. I'll probably be posting more stuff that I make with this on Instagram. So go follow me there. See you next time.